Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are cruising through the second week of footies. We had a player vote yesterday, including the main man, Sissoko. So I'm going to talk about the potential of a footies Sissoko coming. Of course, look at yesterday's content with the Hakimi and the uh, Premier League player pick that was released and how that affected the market. And also look in today on Tuesday... And just remember last week how Tuesday was a pretty crazy day with the quote-unquote guaranteed Neymar uh, foot champs upgrade packs. Talk about those and also what could be coming today. Just maybe some of the things that are rumored, right? Because a lot of things that have been rumored recently have been coming true. So if that trend follows, we might have another tiered objective coming for us very soon as well. And I want to mention that. Also, we just uh, a little bit ago, EA Sports, and I usually don't talk about this stuff very much, but... Uh, they released some pitch notes and a new update. And a lot of this actually uh, is regard to preview packs. It doesn't really change anything about gameplay too much. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we always talk about this stuff, right? Every time there is a patch, whether it is mentioned in the patch or not, it seems that there are gameplay changes and some, some things just feel different. Especially when you go play the next week in League or you're playing some Rivals or whatever, or maybe Foot Draft right now as a lot of people are grinding. So just kind of an, another point that we sometimes gloss over and forget about that sometimes these random little updates like this even change the game somehow. And even though they don't like talk about it as one of the issues that are addressed, but they did talk about preview packs in here and I wonder... Just how with the gameplay that happens, I wonder if that's going to change any of the preview pack luck at all. I doubt it. It's packs, whatever. But uh, a lot of graphic stuff kind of changing here. Again, if you actually go in the store right now, preview packs look really, they look really messed up. Like the graphics behind them, like the, it just it doesn't look good. So I think that's maybe what that update is to be fixed. But anyways, I wanted to point that out really fast. But the first thing I want to talk about is the vote SBC because I'm excited for this card. I'm excited to see what EA could do with this. Yesterday's footies fan vote. And this was one of the first things that E that EA did yesterday that has everybody thinking they're pushing towards a Premier League weekend league plus requirements. And I'll talk why I think those might not be coming, but while how we still will see maybe some of those new requirements today or a weekend league plus objective. So yesterday we had the footies fan vote, which is basically uh, the Premier League voting category. So no guarantees, five-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, like the last one with Coleman and David Silva. This one is just a nominee from the Premier League. And of course, the winner gets the upgrade. The loser will be uh, have a chance to return at the end of the campaign. Now, one interesting thing to note is uh, Sissoko, when you actually opened up the little player pick that it gave you, Sissoko was the first card that popped up. Now, albeit, I think that Sissoko is the most popular item here. I think he will win the vote with the French nationality. And of course, people were remembering this card from last year. But it is interesting to note that the card that pops up first in that player pick SBC, when you do the vote, the card that pops up first has been the card that has won every single time so far. So just kind of to point that out there, Sissoko did pop up first. And I really expect this card to win. Of course, this is the kind of item we have in our minds from last year that we want to see again this year. EA, do this juice. Like, basically, if they released almost this exact same card, we would all be down. We would all be down. Maybe maybe juice that agility balance up a little bit. Let's give them, like, 80s, 85, you know, 85 for both. And then, you know, four-star, four-star, right? Make it a little bit even better of a card. Just, just juice it up. But that would be an SBC we will see on Wednesday, right? So the Monday vote gets a Wednesday SBC. So tomorrow, we will see that Sissoko, un unless the... Unthinkable happens and Zaha is the winner. Now, Zaha's got five-star skills. He's a Premier League. He's a big-name player. So there is still a potential upset there, but I think Sissoko takes the cake on this one. I think we all hope for it too. Um, you know, rats and non-rats alike, I guess you could say. So I think we're all kind of rooting for Sissoko. That was one piece of the content yesterday that had people thinking about some potential new, kind of how EA pushed us towards La Liga last week. Maybe they're pushing us towards the Premier League this week. And it's actually started a few days ago, right? With the Bernard and the Allen dynamic duos. We've had the Enketia and Emil Smith Rowe objective. And then yesterday we had that player pick vote for the new SBC with Sissoko or uh, Zaha, and we also, I have to go all the way back here because I already did this SBC, the Footies Premier League player pick dropped yesterday. Now, of course, a lot of people went and did this today. You saw Fodder actually rise because of this, um, and a lot of people went and did this purely because of how good the La Liga player pick was 
last week. Now, this one was not as good, right? I think the I opened maybe 10 to 15 on stream. We packed Foden, we packed Havertz, but it was a lot of like Davinson Sanchez, Wijnaldum, PTG, like cards that were right around the SPC value, but not anything super duper spectacular. I know some people were packing like Tots KDB, which is, you know, actually right at the SPC value, not an incredible pull. Um, so, I mean, there were some Ws that people pulled from this, but overall, it was not as good. But again, that's a second item again in two days that has people thinking that we might be headed towards a Premier League Weekend League Plus requirement. And again, today is Tuesday, so we should be seeing a new Weekend League Plus requirement. Now, the only issue with this is, uh, as you can see here in the top right, if it shows up right there, three days, it's kind of behind the face cam. This season ends in three days, 15 hours. I don't know if that will affect them doing a uh, Weekend League Plus objective or not, because of course, I'm 100% sure it's in their power for them to say they're going to put like a different time frame on it, like they do here with these daily objectives. Like, you know, a lot of this stuff, all of this stuff is going to expire on Friday when the new season comes. Uh, but, you know, that is maybe just one thing that I'm thinking about right now. Will that impact the potential for us getting a Weekend League Plus objective today? I don't know. Also, how they've been doing the kind of off and on, right? We have a Weekend League requirement for squads. Then we go to the regular Weekend League Plus. This week would be the regular Weekend League Plus if EA keeps according to the schedule that they have been doing. So unlike last week, think back to two weeks ago where we had the normal Weekend League Plus with no actual player requirements, just the, I think, it, what, what was it, like uh, 12... 17 and like 22 or something like that or 10 17 20, i don't even know what it was but those normal weekend league plus objectives even though it really feels like we're being pushed towards a premier league which i would not mind if they did a premier league weekend league plus and did two weeks with um requirements back to back but with their schedule and how they've been going i wouldn't expect it but if ea wants to change up the schedule by all means go for it now also what you've seen recently is with people doing the Smith Rowe and the Aketia objective, and also people thinking that there might be some weekend league uh, objectives coming for the Premier League, you've actually seen some of these cards actually go up in price. Uh, Laporte is a specific example that is perfect, right? Even, even he dropped a little bit yesterday because he was popping out of those Premier League footies player picks pretty often himself. He's right around 200,000 coins at the moment. He was like 210, 215 earlier on Monday before the content shot. He was like 180K, 175K at some points on Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. So people finished their weekend league and I think went out and saw those objectives for Smith Rowe and for Enkentia. They went out and they did those. Of course, right now with the upgrade packs being not so hot, not so popular, think more people are grinding those objectives and foot draft and maybe finishing up some other objectives for icon swaps or whatever this week. It seems like a really gameplay oriented week, even though we're getting SBCs, we're getting, you know, the footies player pick. We'll probably have some sort of upgrade pack today. Like last Tuesday, we had the 85 times 10. I would expect something along those lines today. Uh, it seems like it's really a gameplay grind at the moment. So I think a combination of the, that objective and people really thinking how they're pushing Premier League right now could mean uh, a Premier League weekly league objective does have some people buying up these Prem cards, which is making for some pretty good fluctuations, to be completely honest. Like this Ferran Torres is 155, 156,000 coins earlier today. I'm trying to find him in like the 130s because I know that I'll probably be able to sell him in the 150s later on. Some of these other cards, you know, there was a little bit of droppage happening uh, yesterday. I bought a Chilwell at 160. He hasn't moved too much. This KDB was down like 145. Pogba was 565. I think he's back up at 600. Yeah, he's back up at 600. So there were some fluctuations with some of these cards that were technically packable or affected by cards that were in that player pick. Now, also what was affected was the market. Now, I was buying some fodder on, as we talked about in last night's video, uh, some of the fodder has gone up a little bit in price. Now, there weren't big preview packs yesterday to hurt the supply. Um, there was a mega pack, but you know, that's not a huge pack that would supply a lot of fodder on the market. And of course, special cards to make people want to buy that preview pack with coins. But you did see the index rise up a little bit right before the stream yesterday. I was club stocking some 84s at 6k and that ended up being a pretty good move because 84s are now seven to seven and a half thousand coins. Basically all of the 83 to 85 rated fodder is up. 86 rated fodder is up as well. It's up like one to 2000 coins per card. So not a huge rise. But, you know, a little bit of one. So if you got in on any of that, GG's. I mean, I would take your chances and maybe holding through today. Again, the only thing that is supplying fodder on this game right now is the occasional pack supply SPC and just these 
these preview packs, right? That is literally all that is supplying stuff right now. Now, the only thing is all three of these go away today. The mega pack, the gold players, uh, and the uh, gold players premium, th these three, but specifically the two preview packs go away today on Tuesday. So it'll be interesting to see what they replace this with. If it's a lower tier pack, if it's a higher tier pack, um, and depending on the content that we see today, will there be an SBC demand for whatever cards are dropped? Now, also last week on Monday, I want to talk about um, the SBC that we had today or yesterday as well. Last week on Monday, we had the King Kazu Hidden Gem SBC. This week, we have a footies new transfer SBC. So it seems like Mondays are kind of like their one odd, whatever they're going to do, just some sort of filler player SBC. Hakimi is a decent card, right? I, I get that this card looks really good. A nice link to, of course, the Marquinhos that dropped a little bit ago as well. A lot of people are still saying, hey, they're kind of pushing us towards a Brazilian. Maybe weekend league as well with Allen, Bruno Perez, Bernard, Marquinhos, maybe even League One, right? With a tall Hakimi, uh, Marquinhos. Again, a lot of these those League One links kind of dropping as well. So it really does. I really do not know what EA is going to do for weekend league plus requirements. I, I think it's just going to be a normal weekend league plus for this weekend. Um, but you know, this Hakimi SBC I think has a decent amount of upvotes on Footbin. Um, yeah, it's got a, a thousand upvotes on Flippin. I think the price is perfect for this card, but for me, I wasn't super interested in this. I know it's got the PSG links, which is nice for meta cards that are in this game. But I think if you compare this to the Atal card that just came out, it's like, okay, if I just did Atal, maybe you need Hakimi and Atal on your team together. Uh, oh, and it looks like just now they're adding some transfer cards. So it looks like with the Hakimi today, this is a Barcelona Aguero and a Liverpool Konate, a Memphis Depay, Barcelona as well. So, oh, a Rashica that is Norwich. Okay. Gervinho. Okay. So it looks like they're starting to come up on the market. Let's actually take a look at this really fast. Um, I know that, you know, let's let's look at Depay actually because Aguero might be kind of hard to search like this. But let's go with Depay. But this is kind of interesting. Maybe this is going to be, maybe this content is not just going to be, um, what we saw yesterday and maybe it's going to be something that continues into this week maybe or i hope it does because that'd be some pretty good content right you think about like a rafael varan who was just signed it's in the news a lot of hype uh let's go gold rare center forward from la liga barcelona and uh netherlands let's see if i get any of these to show up okay the young so it's actually just added to the code on footbin is that what i'm seeing let's go argentina now and let's go with gold rare and then click on Argentina. Argentina. And let's go striker to see if we can find Aguero. We can. Aguero is on the market. Okay, so it's not just on Footbin. They're on the market as well. So some of these new transfer cards are out, which is interesting. GG's. Um, and maybe that's going to be some of the content that we'll see on Friday potentially. But they're getting those cards on the market. So that means that they can put out some SBCs like Hakimi. Can I check Hakimi's gold card? Let me check this really fast. Um, this might be actually kind of harder to check uh, for Hakimi. Let's go gold rare. Let's see if we have any of these in here that are PSG or are they all inter? Looks like most to all of these are inter. But I guess check around the market for cards that have transferred, especially ones that were like right at the beginning of the transfer window that are already confirmed. Some of these ones that are just rolling in in the past couple of days, I doubt you would. Yeah, I don't see any Hakimis from PSG. Uh, but... I, would, I doubt you would see like, you know, um, Brian uh, Hill, I think is how you pronounce his name, that just transferred to Spurs. Varan, I don't even know about Sancho, potential Sancho would be probably a card that everybody would be wanting to see, but not entirely sure if we actually would have that yet. So just keep your eye out for some of that stuff. Maybe some of that transfer content is going to come into play in the next few days, which would be dope if it did, right? That'd be really, really dope. I'd be completely down for that. Of course, we're also just kind of on our way to Friday. And again, I even played some draft today, man. I lost both those draft games. But yeah, right now it's kind of weird that your draft is like one of the ways you can grind the game, get rewards and do stuff right now in this stage of FIFA. But you can still trade if you're wanting to. Cards fluctuate a lot on the market. And I think today is going to be a big day in terms of the weekend league plus objectives. If we get those, if there is a requirement, of course, last Tuesday is when you saw a lot of the La Liga cards go up because of that weekend league plus objective. So, you know, just keep an eye out for like Premier League, for Brazil, um, league on whoever you think it might be today keep an eye out for some of those cards because they could have some nice fluctuations and a nice bounce straight up in price if there are uh those 
you know, weekly plus objectives released today. Also some sort of upgrade pack. Watch out for the preview pack supply though. If you're hoping for fodder to rise, I don't know about a player SBC today, unless they are going to start going with the transfer stuff. Um, and they are going to release more players like the Hakimi that we saw yesterday, but uh, I wouldn't expect another player SBC. It might just be weekly plus objectives today, some sort of upgrade pack. Um, you know, last Tuesday as well, we had those quote unquote guaranteed Neymar packs. Uh, those are still out for 10 days. So I don't know, just kind of an interesting Tuesday, right? The upgrade packs, that's the weirdest thing is that the upgrade packs are really not that grindable right now because I believe uh, this 82 plus player pick and the 83 to 89, you know, it's 13K to the 83 to 89 and it's 14K to the 82 plus. So, I mean, man, an 82 plus player pick for 14K, which to be fair, you know, when we we're doing 81 plus player picks, we were paying like nine to 10K, but it just seems... Like turning in a squad rating for that, it's a lot more work. I think that's why people don't like doing these as well. It's just a lot more work with these squad requirements for these upgrade packs. So again, that continues to be a little bit of a bummer. But of course, EA did give us some nice draft, I guess, objectives to be grinding and some stuff like that. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention that I talked about in the beginning of the video too is there's some, I guess, rumors floating around uh, that there might be an Adama footy's favorite item that would be released um as an objective especially as a tiered objective like the atoll was so we will see if that does actually happen but those are the quote-unquote rumors that are just swirling around as a potential adama so if you're somebody who noticed what happened to the atoll foot birthday card when that came out before if this is at all the same which ea might see what happened with this at all and say all right we're not going to do that this time we're not going to be able we're not going to have the objectives overlap so you can't go buy the card and do it easier typical EA thing they would do. Um, but of course, watch out for that foot birthday Adama because that might be a card that would shoot up just in case uh, that was incorporated in a new Adama objective. Now, again, I'm not guaranteeing that. I'm just saying that could be coming. Again, we're still hoping for Renato Sanchez, right? Come on, EA Sports, drop us Renato. But if they are going to press that Premier League objective a little bit more, an Adama would be a fantastic, fantastic way to do that so i'm gonna play a couple foot draft uh games during the day i gotta finish tall and pretty close there grind that squad battles a little bit and just kind of keep the process rolling before a lot of this stuff goes away especially on season seven ending on friday so again footies today on tuesday content wise some sort of upgrade pack 85 times 10 was last week maybe an 83 times 10 maybe some sort of like 86 plus player pick i would expect something along those lines today maybe just maybe some sort of transfer sbc or objective or a uh, tiered objective and those weekly plus requirements. But we'll see what Tuesday has in store for us today. Of course, if you're on FIFA around the content drop, check that link down below in the description for the Twitch link. I'm always live streaming around content drop each and every day on the Twitch channel. So if you enjoyed this video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.